Thank you, Kira. I'm Kevin Shoemaker, Associate VP Research here at Western uh, with a primary focus on health and health research across the campus. I am very happy to welcome you to this event uh, and as well on behalf of Leslie Rigg, who is our VPR and the entire Western research crew, which is about 130 people. Um, welcome. This is, uh, to me, it's an exciting event and I'll tell you a bit about my story around complex adaptive systems and epiphany moments shortly. But, um, you know, we've been working hard on strategic plans for the last several years and Western Research just put theirs out and uh, broad consultation and so forth. Some of the things that we heard about uh, really apply well to this lab. Um, you know, we, we've, we talk about um, a desire to strengthen partnerships, uh, to think differently about grand challenges, which are well publicized but poorly addressed. Uh, to think about impact and how we can uh, even communicate better to people around our stories and how to make a concerted effort to break down silos. Uh, this particular group has been a great example of all of those things, I think, in terms of the trying to work around this complex adaptive system. Um, I'm going to call it, it, it's everything from philosophy to physics. And so I think it's a, it's a great platform to, to think and how to change our perspective on how to understand things that are difficult. And that sort of segues a bit into to, uh, my own personal experience with complex adaptive systems. Uh, a bit like Kira, I have a physiology background. I call myself a systems physiologist because I study what we would consider something very simple like blood pressure control or the way your heart beats. And um, in grad school, I first became to understand that the heart beats, but every beat is irregular. It's not the same as the one before it in terms of its length. And the way that that happens, uh, it's very complicated. We've got feed forward and feedback neural loops. We've got uh, ion channels that work spontaneously. And some of them seem to be funny about it. Uh, so they're called. We've got um, pressure dependent changes in cell function within the, cell, within the heart. Um, all of these things combine to create a complex series of heartbeats. The more complex it is, the healthier it is because it reflects on the number of inputs that the heart gets to keep it going. So these are redundant systems, they overlap, but they, uh, they create a picture of where complexity is actually healthy. And when you start to lose that complexity, it's a sign that the redundant systems are failing. So it, when I started to learn that, I got really compelled by the idea of physiology and how you know, we call it how things work. Um, and that, that seems to have great application across a lot of, a lot of things that we think about socially, uh, biologically, and, and even mentally. So I'm very intrigued by this whole concept. And I congratulate uh, James uh, for you and your, your team putting this lab together over the last two or three years. Uh, it's a great concept. I love it. And uh, I hope to jump in and out on this session throughout the day and just see what's going on. I also want to welcome the, uh, I understand, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Shannon tells me that there's a class attending today. So I hope uh, public health class, if I'm not mistaken. And so uh, welcome as well. And um, I know you're all sitting in a big classroom, prob probably laughing right now, but I, uh, I welcome you because public health, if there's, any, if there's anything complicated, I think public health is a good example. So with that, I'll turn it back to you, Kira, and, and thank you for this again, James and team, and uh, look forward to whatever I can attend to today. And I hope you all have a great day with this.